Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bick. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him with a psaltery and harp. Praise him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a very special program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring one of the most delicate and beautiful of all instruments, the harp. The harp is mentioned over 30 times in 24 verses in the Bible as an instrument of peace, of praise, of contemplation, of sorrow, and even of healing. Classical composers across the centuries have written for the harp. And tonight, we hear some of this beautiful music. We begin the program of music for the harp with world-renowned harpists Suzanne McDonald and Linda Wood.
If you think the harp is easy to play, you should have the experience of trying it someday. Not only are your hands moving endlessly, but one must work the various pedals at the same time. Suzanne McDonald gives us a short demonstration, and then two amateurs give it a try. Yes, Diane, there are seven pedals at the base of the harp. Uh, I'll turn the harp around so perhaps those of you in the rear can, can see it. And these pedals have only one function, and that is to raise and lower the pitch of the strings. That is to make the sharps and flats. I'll show you how this works by moving the outside pedal, which is the D pedal, and putting it in the top notch, you'll hear D flat. And then as I move it into the middle notch, it becomes D natural. And this, these little levers here are pressing against it. And finally, D sharp in the bottom notch. Now I know the hour is late, but Suzanne being the great teacher that she is, can teach anyone to play the harp. And she did just that this morning. There were two people wandering through the church. And they asked if perhaps she could teach them to play the harp. And those two people happen to be here tonight, and they're going to play just a very short number for you, if you don't mind.
several Bible verses refer both to the harp and the organ. Today, on the program, The Bible and Music, we are listening to the sounds of the harp and organ together. But now we hear the organ alone. In Job 21:12, it reads, they take the timbrel and harp and rejoice at the sound of the organ. The harp is not always used in a classical or even religious sense. Sometimes it is just for entertainment, for the fun and joy of listening and playing. Such is the case in a country harp. Found often in the Alpine countries, this sound is not as refined as a classical harp, but certainly not any less enjoyable. In an alpine evening, the country harp is often combined with other alpine instruments, such as the alphorn, cowbells, string instruments, yodeling, and even dancing. In today's program, Music in the Bible, we are listening to the music of the harp combined with the organ. The harp reflects many moods, the mood of contemplation, of joy, of praise, of sorrow, and even of healing. In Isaiah 16, we are told of King Saul, who was sick and was advised to call David the harpist to come and play for him. We read in Isaiah 16:23. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit was upon Saul, that David took an harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him.
The Psalms speak often of the music of the harp, music of praise, joy, refreshment, and thanksgiving. It speaks about awaking early in the morning to the music of the psaltery and harp. It speaks about singing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, singing praises upon the harp unto our God. In Psalm 150, a psalm of praise, we once again read about praising the Lord with both the harp and the organ. Oh, praise him in his sanctuary. Praise the Lord with the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord.
Thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring the music of the harp and organ. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today.